Hey, good morning, everybody. Yeah, I got about uh, 89 minutes before I have to leave for work, so... <laughs> um, I, I thought I'd kind of talk about something real quickly, you know? Um, I'm sure a lot of people, if you're new, especially if you're an older person, like let's say you might be in your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, or 70s, or even you're at my age, you know, your 30s, 40s, whatever, or any age, and you're probably wondering and asking the question, if you're new to Facebook, if this is your first time on a Facebook, with Facebook, or it's your first time using YouTube, you're probably wondering when you want to post a message on Facebook, or you want to upload a video on YouTube, you're probably wondering, what is the difference between public, private, or public, only me, custom, well, let me put it this way. If you're uploading, if you're typing up or uploading a picture for the first time I'm on YouTube, uh, on Facebook, I should say, you'll notice that there are three options. One of the options def by default, one of the options by default, as far as I know, if I've been on Facebook for a while, and this is how it was for me, is public. Now, you'll notice that when you click on that public button, well, you'll notice on that public, or next to the uh, public option, it has an arrow. Now, when you click on the arrow, it'll list friends, only me, or custom. Now, friends are those that you accept as your friends on Facebook. Friends are the ones that request you and you accept them um, as friends. And those are the only people that see it public does not see it. So let's say you're friends with relatives, which is your primary source for the friends list. Then only your relatives will be able to see, be able to see what you post, say, post, or want to say. That's all they're going to see. That's the only people that are going to see it. Now custom, now only me, I should say, is the next option you'll notice when you click on that public button or you click on the arrow that's on the public uh, button, only me is something that basically means only you can see it. Only you will be able to view the photo or view what you say. That's about it. Only you will be able to do that. Now, I know it sounds confusing, but let me explain. There's probably some people around you around that might be able to explain it better. But like I said, with Facebook, when you start out, by default, you have, by default, when you, pub, when you tr want to publish a message for the first time, by default, it's going to go public, so anybody could see it. So, if you don't want the whole world to see it, then what you do is you choose the option of friends. That's right, so you click where it says public, because there will be a little arrow po a little arrow pointing down and what you do is you click on it and it will give you the options of either friends or only you or custom now like I said friends are those that you invite to become you request to be your friends and vice versa they request you to be a friend so in other words only they on your friends list which primarily might be family co-workers or whatever or friends you've made throughout your life, like high school and whatnot, they will be the only ones that will see what you post, you know, photo or video-wise and message-wise. They'll be the only ones that could see it. Now, with that said, with that said, the other option they have below only me, which again, only me is basically only you will be able to see it. Only you will be able to read what you put up. Like, let's say you want to vent. You had a rough, stressful day at work, and you want to vent. But you don't want anybody to see what you're going to type up or say. You click on the option that says, you click on that public, or you click on the friend, you click on that same button, but this time it might say friends. So you click on it, you go down to only me, you select that, and then you type up, 
all your frustrations and everything so that only you, only you can see your frustration, your venting on your Facebook page. Not, not, the pub, not the whole world, not your friends or the people on your friends list, only you. Those are the three top options, uh, top options you know, right off the bat when you, do, when you start off Facebook. Now, there is another option that's below only me, and this is a very specific option. It's called custom. Now, custom basically allows you to select who you want to view what you say, or you say, or what photo or video you might post. They are the only ones you want to select. So, let's say it's a instead of your entire friends list seeing what your family did over the weekend at a family gathering, you just want family, then you can select, it might take a little bit, a little time, not that much, probably about a few minutes. You select all your relatives that you want to see it. You select your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, you name it, your brothers, your sisters, your brothers, your, your, brothers, your sisters, sorry about that. Like I said, your cousins, your aunts, your aunts, your uncles, maybe your grandparents, maybe your parents, you know, they would be the ones you would select if you only want a specific group of people to see it. Now there are other options to <coughs> there are other options to where you can use I think one of the other subsections there is family, where you can actually make a family connection. You can actually acknowledge whose family and then by selecting the family option, you in that cust in the su in the uh, custom section, only family will see it. But still, if you don't do that, and you just choose custom, you're going to have to choose the name of the family members that you want. And again, it's not going to take long; it just takes like a few minutes. Now, basically, that's what Facebook is. It's by default when you start off with it, it's public. Did you post anything? Will become pub public. It's only then, after you have a decent amount of friends, family, whatever, on your friends list, that you choose, that you click on the public option, on the, you click on the uh, public, scroll, scroll down to friends, and choose that as your primary uh, source to send messages, photos, or videos. Now, underneath that, like I said, is the only me option to which you can use to type up as much let's say like like I said if you have a stressful day you can use it to type up all your you can type up all your stressful uh, uh, venting you know, you know you know how people come home and vent right so you could just basically use that where only you will be able to see what you say and nobody else and then you got custom which underneath allows you to customize who you want to see what you post not, which means it's not going to be any. It's not going to be your entire friends list. It's who you want to see it. That's basically Facebook in a nutshell. If you're new to it, or you don't, you haven't quite grasped. You know, or even if you've been on Facebook for a while, you haven't quite grasped exactly what how these options work. It's the same with YouTube. Yeah, YouTube is the same way. YouTube has three listings too. Let's say you're working. You say you're posting a video on YouTube for the first time. You have three options. One of the primary options that's always used is public. That way everybody can see it. Everybody can see it. And this is one of the primary options that's used by everybody that's on Facebook. Whether you're montaging or you're not montaging, this is the one area you're using. Now, there are two other options. One in the middle of that is unlisted. Now unlisted is kind of a mixture between the one that between public and the other option that and the third option that's underneath that's the last one to choose if you feel like it and that's private. Now we'll get back to unlisted in a moment because like I said that's going to be a combination of both. But unlisted is kind of basically like is kind of public but not so. But again, we'll get back to that in a second. Let's go to the third option that's underneath unlisted, and that's private. P 
private is just like the only me option on Facebook. Private means only you can view what you post on YouTube. Yeah, only you. Now, it's true in a sense that YouTube, Google, the people there will know what you're going to post, but nobody else will. Nobody that subscribed to you will know what you've post, uh, posted. No one, like I said, no one that subscribed to you will see that you see what you've posted. Uh, nobody looking up videos on YouTube will see what you posted. Private is basically like having a private video album on YouTube. Sort of like the only me option on Facebook where you can vent and say what you want to say on there and nobody else would see it. Same with here on YouTube. Private is basically, hey, nobody else is going to see this except me. And that's usually, and for a lot of people, like, let's say it's hard for them to watch a video through Facebook or any other means. YouTube allows them that option to watch that video, you know, uh, uh, more uh, effortlessly, or more effortlessly, easy for me to say, uh, than any than any other video site. Now, with that said, let's get back to unlisted, which is the second option on YouTube. Unlisted, like I said, is a mixture of both public and private. Unlisted basically is an option that you can use where your video is somewhat public, but only to those that you give the link to or you share the video with. And how do you share the video? You copy the link that's provided. Or you email them the link that's provided. That's right. That's how it's used. In other words, it's kind of, like I say, it's a mixture between both public and private. And what I mean by a mixture of both public and private is basically, like I said, only you could see it, but those that you give the link to can see it as well. So let's say if you want to talk to somebody or you want to leave a detailed video message or audio message, whatever, to somebody, but you don't want anybody else to hear it. And you know the private option is not going to work either. What do you do? I tell you what you do. You use unlisted so that only you see the video and the person you're sharing the link with to that video sees it as well. Yeah, it may not get as many views as your public videos, but still, you know, it's an option, but still, you know, it's an option to to use. You know what I'm saying? It's still an option to use because of the fact that you know, again, you're not, again, like I said, you're not, because um, like I said, again, you're not uh, using, you know, what, what was this? Oh, yeah. The reason unlisted is an easier, is a good choice to go with is because it's not totally, what I'm trying to say is unlisted is private in a sense, but not totally private. You see, this, you know, here's how you know when something's private or it's not private, especially when you check your videos, your My Videos portion on your channel. It'll have a link. It'll have like a little icon on top. When you publicly post a video, it's going to have an icon of the world. When you privately post a video to where only you could see it, it'll have a lock on there, basically like it's locked up and only you could see it. Unlisted will have a similar icon of a lock, but the lock will be slightly open. But the icon will have the lock slightly opened. Yeah, and what that slightly open lock uh, icon means is it's sort of private, but not totally. And that's what unlisted is. Unlisted, like I was trying to say, is an option that makes it somewhat public, somewhat private. Basically, only you and those you share it with can see it. Now, you might be wondering why I'm talking about all this. Well, I'm here to give a bit of advice to those that like to post, that have uh, Facebook pages dedicated to certain characters or groups, as well as certain YouTube pages dedicated to certain things or groups. Nothing against 
wanting to keep not and now listen now listen for those that want to make these public for those that want to keep their groups their channels and all that public because they feel there's nothing that should be ashamed of that's fine that's okay but I'm just giving a bit of advice because there, there are those, as I've mentioned various times, that may not understand and may tease you about it too, even if it's a friendly tease. Let me explain. You know, there's one person on Facebook that has several. I don't know if it's the same person or it's just someone different. But there, are, but there is one person or several people on Facebook that have public Facebook pages aces uh, public Facebook pages of the Sonic the Hedgehog character Sally Acorn. Now this is great and everything because to your imagination it's making you feel like you're interacting with said character or she's interacting with you. The same could be said with the person that did Minerva Mink. It basically f makes you feel like oh I'm I'm connecting with said character, even though I know on the other end, it's actually somebody p uh, pretending to be her. Sort of like with Rabbit in the Room on her YouTube page. How she likes to post videos of herself in her Minerva Mink, in her Minerva Mink or Bridget co uh, costumes, and act like she's the character interacting with everybody. Which is cool. I have nothing against that. But, he here, here's the thing though. And again, it's totally up to you if you want to make things public or private or whatever. That's fine. But when you, but my advice, and I know this is going long, so let me get to the point. My advice here, my advice is if you're going to do videos on this, if you're going to do videos, my, my advice, folks, my advice is... If you're going to do videos, or you're going to dedicate Facebook group pages or whatever to characters, and you're going to come out using that Facebook page to pretend you're said character, to interact with the fans, which is a good thing, don't get me wrong, here's what you do. You treat it like it's an actual Facebook page where you want only people that are on your friends list to see it. That's right. You treat it like it's you treat the Facebook page as if it's the Facebook as it you know as a, a, a Facebook page that only you want friends to see. You want only certain people to see. You don't want nobody else to see it. Because let's face it, family or friends or whatever, not everybody's gonna understand um, people liking certain pictures if they see it publicly. They're not gonna like it. And again, I'm not trying to say, you know, this is something that, you know, you should do. I'm not saying you need to do this. I'm not saying that. Let me make that clear. I'm not saying you need to do this. I'm just saying it's something that you should consider because there are people that will see it publicly that will, even if their family will do a friendly tease or whatever on, uh, you know, on you. And Again, what I was trying to get to earlier is the other day, my family, of course, this is Memorial Day, me and my family were here together uh, having dinner as well as watching the Warriors beat uh, the Thunder. And all of a sudden, you know, I, all of a sudden, my older sister decides to, or my older sister, yeah, my older sister decides to comment on the Sally character. Because obviously they could see me liking certain pictures that the person that's portraying Sally on Facebook uh, or the people portraying Sally on Facebook have uploaded. So even though I kind of put my finger to my eye and go like, seriously? Put my finger to my temple in my eye and I was like, seriously? You're bringing this up again? I thought this was done with. You know, so. And it confuses my mom because she's like, what the heck are you guys talking about? <laughs> You know, I mean, she probably, probably knows what they're talking about, but she doesn't do it to that point. But what I'm trying to say is it kind of bugged me a little bit. And I'm not trying to say nobody has the right to, you know, pretend they're a certain character on Facebook with a Facebook page and, you know, share it publicly. I'm just saying I, my advice, 
is to try to consider making it more like an actual Facebook page where only friends and family can see it. Okay? Not the whole freaking world. Like, if you know you're going to have friends on it and people liking your stuff, put yourself in other shoes. Do you want to get teased and all that? Oh, like, why do you like this? Why do you like that? And they don't understand why. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I think it'd be best to kind of make kind of make it to where it's not public, okay? I, I just think if my best advice is not make it public, okay? You know, this is why you have certain groups on Facebook, YouTube, wherever, that, you know, you know, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, wherever, that, you know, MySpace, you name it, wherever, that are private, that are either secret or closed groups. And what that is, basically, secret or closed groups, again, are very similar, very similar to the friends option on Facebook, to the custom option on Facebook, as well as the unlisted option on YouTube. Basically, only a certain amount of people can see what goes on. Now, people might be, now, according to some things that I've read, they might, publicly, some people might be able to see that you're in the groups, but they won't be able to see what you're posting. They won't be able to see what you like. Now, I'm not sure if that goes for both closed and secret groups, but the, but the point is, they may see that you're part of something. They may see that you're part of something, but they won't say anything because they don't see what you're liking or typing up or talking about or anything like that. They basically probably only know that you are a part of it if they do at all. And that's the same again with the unlisted option on YouTube. Only certain people can see a video. Only certain people can acknowledge said video. So anyway, what I'm trying to say here in, in closing folks is you want to keep things public and let the whole world see it, that's fine. That's your option. Go ahead. Have fun with it. Run wild. But I want you to understand that there are those that will see what others like, okay, if it's public, and may, may or may not understand, and even if it's in a friendly family tease, will get on you about it and tease you about it. And you do not need that. Nobody needs that. Not from family or friends. So my advice Take it if you want to. Change things up to just friends only or change it up to custom list or whatever. Take the options of unlisted on YouTube, maybe private on YouTube. Take those to heart so that nobody sees what you post sometimes. And with unlisted, only some people will see the, the video you post because you want them to see it. Take that to heart. As well as take to heart the friends option on Facebook, as well as take to heart the custom option on Facebook, because only certain people may or may not understand why you're a fan or something. I'm just saying, folks, again, it's your option. It's your, it's your decision. I'm just saying, and saying as a bit of advice, to think about it. Because, again, not everybody is going to understand. Not everybody is going to say, Oh, well, it's cool. Oh, you like that picture? You know, who drew it? Nobody's going to ask you that sometimes. Sometimes they'll tease you about it, even if it's a friendly family tease. So my advice, take it if you want. When it comes to, let's say, Facebook pages dedicated to fictional characters, or at least pretending to be fictional characters with said Facebook page, don't make it public. Make it more like for friends on your friends list or customize it or something. Same with groups, okay? Because let's face it, there are some people that don't understand certain groups like MLP, like Facebook groups publicly dedicated to MLP. These need to come to, these need to end up being quiet and all that, or at least secret or closed. I'm just suggesting. You don't have to take it as, you know, you don't have to take it seriously. I'm just saying my advice is to take these to heart and just say okay look maybe people aren't ready to see what you know see these things publicly maybe they need to be private or maybe they need to be only for the people on the friends list 
or whatever. So that's just my advice for anybody that's new to Facebook or YouTube or have been on Facebook or on YouTube and are wondering why some people may tease them or question them. So just my, my suggestion, take it to heart if you will, and I am out.